Hey there YouTube, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores of Sky. Also known as Tales of Xenia Book Zero, if we uh, want to go by the title of my fanfic. Tales of Xenia, it would it started as a Paper Mario sort of story. Uh about some other characters. Daniel would become a supporting character uh, t along with his other Pikachu buddy here in the present, John. John being the great-grandson of Abram. <clears throat> a hundred years in the future, or rather, a hundred years in the present. But perhaps we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. I eventually plan to write uh, three books in addition to Book Zero, but the project never really got off the ground. I have the start of something on my DeviantArt account, Silly Cat 2, uh, but it, fair warning, it was written by a teenager and kind of dumb to read. Some of the things that happened in the first four chapters are no longer canon, let's say. <laughs> But enough about that. Let's get back to Daniel and Abram. Or rather, let's get back to checking our career as an adventurer. Kinds of Pokemon battled, six, move learned four. So yeah, you can uh, kind of see your uh, stats across the game. This keeps track of all stats across game resets even. So um, yeah, even if you decide to play multiple times, this will uh, show how much experience you have with the game. Of course, uh, having renamed and sort of deleted my save before I started this, uh, we are starting from scratch. We can rename our exploration team here, but we don't even have a team yet, officially. We can delete our save data, but who would do that? I mean, seriously. Let's just continue the game. I don't know what that number is on our badge, other than, uh, I suppose perhaps it's the ID number for our team. Makes as much sense as anything to me. You can, uh, see Daniel's footprint there on the badge, too. Footprints are, uh, are a very odd form of identifying Pokemon. I mean, at least it gets the species right, but, uh, this being the, uh, early 20th century, we... Don't really know for sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Chapter 2 The New Guild Recruits. The Wiggly Tough Guild in Capian Town. This is the Wiggly Tough Guild. The Foreign Exploration Team, you need to register your team here. It's the biggest guild in all of Xenia, or at least the biggest guild on the grass continent. Then, you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Many, many teams have, famous teams, have graduated from this guild. Which is why Abram first thought to come to Capin Town. Yikes! Is there something just a little odd about this place? Well, the totem poles are kind of neat, at least. No, I've got Daniel with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Pikachu's! The footprint is Pikachu's! Where? No, I have to be strong. You may enter! Someone's with you, so get that stranger to stand up there! They probably mean you, Daniel. They said to stand up here. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it'll tickle my feet or... Hey you, stranger! Get on the grate! Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is... The, the footprint is, um, what's the matter? Sentry, 
Sentry? What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Diglett's name is Dale. I have no idea why I named him this. Um, uh, uh, er... Um, the, the footprint is... Maybe Charmanders! Maybe Charmanders! What? Maybe? But, but, it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ugh, that's pretty crummy! Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon! That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? I mean, Dale! Dang it. <laughs> yes, but I don't know what I don't know. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any Charmander in these parts. But you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter! Yikes! I'm so nervous. So jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. There's a hatch that leads underground here? Wow! So this is the Wigglytuff Guild. So many Pokémon! I wonder if they're all in exploration teams. Excuse me! <coughs> it was YouTube that just came in, right? Yes! I'm Paul the Chatter. I'm the Pokémon in the know around these parts. I have so much to say about Paul. You have no idea. But, uh, let's get on with the introductions. I'm Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right-hand Pokemon. Wigglytuff. In my fanfic, I named him Ike. This was in 2010-ish, before Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon came out in 2015, and retconned him to being a female Wigglytuff. Thankfully, Iz Izukaze Phoenix here on YouTube, a good friend of mine for on the Discord, provided the name Ismelda, so we are going to be calling her Guildmaster Izzy. Well, shoot, leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. The Weekly Tough Guild has some uh, connotations of being somewhat like a Japanese corporation. Uh, Paul here would be kind of an HR manager, I guess. Off you go, if you please. So yeah, he's turning away solicitors at the door. <coughs> no, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? Exploration team? It's weird to see a kid like this one. I should be doing my part on Surely, a steady stream of Pokemon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Paul, now that I am older, I can kind of see the thing he's going for. He wants to hold up the guild's reputation, training only the best of the best apprentices. He wants to inspire discipline in his explorers, but I still kind of think he treats the apprentices far too harshly, which we will be seeing in due time. He and Izzy kind of have a good cop, bad cop sort of thing going on. I did not really understand this as a teenager, so Paul would uh, be kind of the uh, Ron the Death Eater sort of character, which if you have read TV tropes, you kind of know how that tends to get. He would become a major target of Daniel's unbridled rage, but enough about that. Let's get back to the story. <coughs> Excuse me. Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Uh, well, 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 no, no, no. It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. I guess he didn't expect uh, the others to still be listening. Probably makes a bit more sense in Japanese. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you wanted to be in an exploration team. Hey! 
attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's get your team signed up right away. Follow me. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. Quickly, please. He's a bird. Bird's sad. You know how it is. This is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this one. Come along, please. Wow! We're two floors under the ground that you can see outside! Oh, please, hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural you'd be able to see outside. Oh. Now, here we are at Guildmaster Izzy's chamber. On no account, I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster? It's Paul. I'm coming in. Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our guild as apprentices. Uh, Guildmaster? Uh, Guildmaster? Hiya! Hi, Ms. Melda! I'm the guild's Guildmaster! You can call me Izzy! You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it! First, you must register your exploration team's name! So, telling your team's name? Oh, uh, our team's name? Think of that. So, what do you think would be a good name for us, Daniel? Pokepals is a default name, but we are going to go with Abram's initial suggestion, which would be. Team Sprint. I have no idea why I came up with this name, but uh, this is what we are going with for now. That's a good name. It suits us. All settled then. I'll register your team as Sprint. Registering. Registering. All registered. Yunta! In the fanfic, she referenced Tingle here. I will leave it to your imagination. Congratulations! From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present you with this in commemoration. Izzy, set down a Pokemon Exploration Team Kit! Pokemon Exploration Team Kit? Yep, it's what every Exploration Team needs! Quick, open it up! Abram opened the Pokemon Exploration Team Kit! There was an Explorer Badge inside! And a Wonder Map! And a Treasure Bag! Yeah! There are all sorts of great items in here! That's your Explorer Badge! It's your official team identification! There's a wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, there's a treasure bag. Once you carry items and find them better. Your successes as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Let me peek inside the treasure bag. <coughs> team Sprint in my fanfic also got a scouter, which let the leader see uh, the stats of various Pokemon. Even before, I, even before I was familiar with Bob and George, I was a very meta sort of one. So yeah. The special band was inside. A Viridian bow was also inside. This bow matches the color of your aura. It provides a stat boost to anybody who wears it. A pretty big stat boost too. This is going on Daniel, and it is not coming off until I think of something better. It's a very stupid way of putting it, but uh, yeah. The special band will boost Abram's special attack. Those two items are special, I'm sure to help you on your adventures. Thank you! We'll do our best! Yep, but you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train! We will! Let's always do our best, Daniel! Yeah! This is your room. Great! We get beds! You'll live here while you work for us. We'll start getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and start living up to our code. 
Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. That night. Why is my mouse cursor still on screen? <coughs> no, are you still awake, Daniel? My heart's been racing all day today over every little thing. But I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Esmelda would be scary, but she seems pretty friendly. We're gonna experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Daniel. Good night. Uh, now I am suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be in an exploration team. It's fun to be friends with Abram, but first things first, who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? And who is this other Charmander that's in my, the locket I brought with me? Her name's Amanda. She is one of Daniel's neighbors. That's all I'm going to really say. I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. <coughs> yeah, we all need to save. Quick tip! You can save a record of your progress by climbing onto your bed from now on. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb onto your bed. The next morning. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Ugh, my head is pounding. What a ridiculously loud voice. I almost blasted my eardrums. Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ugh, my poor ears. Come on! Snap out of it! I'm Loudred! My name is Shoop! You can probably tell from his expression why I named him that. And I'm a fellow apprentice! If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it! Guildmaster Izzy has got a big temper! If you make her lose it... Yowie! That would be one very scary scene! I got goosebumps just thinking about it! Yeesh! So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late! So get it in gear! Ugh, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Uh, uh, oh yeah! We signed up as apprentices at, uh, with, at the Wigglytuff Guild, that's right. But that means... Ah! We totally overslept! We gotta hurry, Daniel! Meet the other apprentices! You're late, rookies! Hush! Your voice is ridiculously loud. Everyone seems to be present. Very well, let us conduct our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance. <coughs> Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. Guildmaster Izzy never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's look, looks she's wide awake. Eek! Her eyes are wide open! She's fast asleep! Uh, thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers. Another thing in Japanese companies. Probably a thing in American retail companies, too. <laughs> Few are going to be especially cynical about it. All together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! Hey, 
You shouldn't just be wandering around here. You two come here. <coughs> so, that Bidoof that was in the crew, his name is Buck. He would be a permanent member of Team Sprint, and sort of a mentor to Daniel and Abram, but, uh... Since I am not much of a hacker, we will not be seeing him in the party just yet. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're worried that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep, because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's wreaking havoc, right? Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. Look, time's getting messed up. Time is in hours and minutes? Maybe something's gone wrong with time here. And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up. What's going on here? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we've noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, and it's unknown if this is because of time's influence, there's also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. This is not the case in my fanfic. Xenia has always been a land of strong chaos. The flow of chaos causes space to warp. Uh, <clears throat> Pokemon pop up all the time, just uh, from the chaos creating what we call chaos spirits. And they are part of, parts of the dungeon. And they are just a normal part of life here in Xenia. A lot of merchants uh, make a living by uh, trawling the dungeons, uh, scouring them for goods, bringing them back to towns to sell them. This is a case in the 20th century, and it is still the case in the present day. Mystery, please? So, Daniel, you know how I got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. The mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. And you can lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go inside one, there are always new things to discover. They really are fantastic places to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in Mystery Dungeons. <coughs> so, let's look for a job that you should perform. Uh, yes, maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, I'm Evan the Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself to me. Yes, if you are familiar with the, uh, with the Pokedex in the main series, Spoinks have a very weak heart. They need to bounce constantly to keep their blood pumping, and the Pearl uh, helps them keep their balance so they can keep bouncing. I just can't seem to settle down if that Pearl isn't in its proper place atop my head. But I've heard my Pearl's been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I can never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members. Evan the Spoink. Wait a second. We're gonna fetch an item that someone dropped? I'd rather do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure or explore unknown places, things like that. Hush. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You'll lose half your money, and you could lose half your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Yeah. This must be the bluff's entrance. Evan's mission described and said that the pearl is down, deep down on the seventh level. Sounds like a serious, dangerous place. Let's be careful. Let's do our best, Daniel. This would be when Buck joined the party, but we, again, we do not have him in the party. You and your partner can now hold one item each. 
Now that you have the treasure bag, you can also keep 16 items in your inventory. Some items, like bows, work only if held by a Pokemon, so use the Give option found under the item section of the menu and hand it over. Let's get equipped! Uh, we have to give it a second, that's right. <coughs> Abram got the special link. Daniel got the Viridian Bow. As you can see, it boosts all four of my stats. Very handy. And again, the color matches the player's armor. Let's get started. A Pecha Berry. A Pecha Berry gives poisoned or badly poisoned Pokemon. This is a must-have, especially when you're a low level and don't have very much HP to speak of. You are going to always want to bring at least one. The Heal Seed heals all of the Pokémon's status problems. You can eat it or throw it at your partners. It's important, this early in the game, and really throughout the whole game, that you get your partners in on the action. If you're in a room, move diagonally so you're both adjacent to your Pokémon. Since our partner is a Pikachu, uh, we will get an attack that helps even more of this in due time. But for now, we are going to uh, try to surround our, friend, our enemies like this. Lily is a grass and rock type. And now we've gotten enough experience, Daniel has leveled up. Leveling up boosts your stats ver uh, very significantly, and on top of that, you have you will sometimes learn new moves. <coughs> Leveling up is a much bigger deal than it is in Super Mystery Dungeons, so uh, make sure you get grinded. This Anorith, I believe, is a bug and rock type. Shellos is water and ground, I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I've uh, had any reason to look at Pokemon types. So this is going to be a lot of guesswork for me. <laughs> Eat an apple or a gummy if you get hungry. If you get too hungry, we already explained. Keep an eye on your belly in the menu. That P symbol is a uh, Poke again. It's the currency of Zinnia, and we are going to want to amass a large amount of it. Because the shops are the most consistent way of getting certain items. We're talking about essentials. Foreign berries, Pekka berries, apples, and reviver seeds. Along with various tools that will uh, serve us well in the future. <coughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious Controller. Battle hard to level up each one. Yes, it will. going to disable his tail whip now. These enemies are weak enough that uh, I feel pretty confident just uh, spamming attacks. Get another level up, and I win Ember. Ember will be is a fire type move that can cut corners. It's very handy. A blast seed can be eaten to breathe fire or thrown to cause an explosion. It does a little more damage if you eat. It's a very good weapon, at least this early in the game. <coughs> apples, big apples, and other such items are food. They are used exclusively to uh, keep your belly filled. Always take at least one apple with you. 
a normal apple will fill your belly by 50, and a big apple will fill it by 100. If your Pokémon has a full belly, you'll get more belly. This resets to 100 at the end of each dungeon. To earn bonus experience, a Pokémon must use its moves at least once while battling an enemy, not just its regular attack. Use the Moves option to unleash one of these moves, or set a specific move for quicker access. Hold L and press A to use a set move. <coughs> An Orin Berry restores 100 HP, which is much more than you will see in the main series. Trust me on this. Always, always carry a couple of these with you. So Pechaberry, very nice. Chingling, I believe is a psychic type. Psychic types uh, do not have much to do with any of our moves right now. If you eat a warp seed, you'll be warped to a random tile on the same floor. If you throw it in an enemy, it will be warped away instead. Good for getting an especially powerful enemy off your tail. Now that I have learned Ember, I am going to, uh, actually no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to set Ember and keep Scratch at the top of my menu. You can use your top move just by pressing X four times, it's very nice. Ember, though, being the same type as the Pokémon using it, gets a, uh, a slight attack bonus. <clears throat> In the Pokémon fandom, this is called Stab, same type attack bonus. And it's a major factor in a competitive loadouts. Here, we're just going to hold on to it, because Fire is a uh, pretty good type to have. Pokemon's HP gets low, it puts itself at great risk of fainting from further enemy attack. When this happens, just run away. Fire as well as normal, so uh, no matter what I do to a uh, uh, Amarith, I am at a slight disadvantage. Fortunately, we have uh, John here, or Abram, sorry, not John. We have Abram here to back us up. Likewise, we can cover for uh, we can cover for Abram's uh, disadvantage against ground types. And Abram can cover for our weakness to water types. Pink gummies are our first example of gummies. Poison type Pokemon like it best. There are 17 gummies in this game. Since it's a fourth generation game, there are only 17 Pokemon types instead of 18. The gummy that matches your Pokemon's type uh, gives it the best IQ boost. IQ is, well, I explained that in episode 1, but it allows you to learn specific skills <coughs> that change your AI and abilities. After that, a Pokemon, a type that is super effective against your type gives the second biggest boost, followed by uh, neutral and strong. Dual type Pokemon get extra get extra IQ from a gummy. Eating a gummy in the dungeon... Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. In Time and Darkness, eating a gummy in the dungeon will give you a uh, small stat boost as well. Orinberry. This is an Orinberry, isn't it? No, it's a lookalike. You should always check the item info to make sure you've got the right item and not one of these sneaky lookalikes. This is a mechanic exclusive to Explorers of Sky. 
and it is very interesting. <coughs> it's a food item that deals damage. We're going to want to throw this at the uh, next Pokemon we come across, because it is useless to us otherwise. Help your partner be a smart teammate by tweaking its IQ skills and tactics. You can also use a switch to keep your partner from using certain moves. You can press Y to uh, sort your items. And... Yeah, it causes 10 damage. Nothing to write home about, but you don't want to accidentally eat it, so it's good to get rid of it while you can. A white gummy is a normal type gummy. We are going to hold on to any gummies we find for now. And just like that, we have reached the end of the dungeon. Oh, look at that! This must be Evan's Pearl. Let's hurry back with it. Thank you! That Pearl must be propped on my head, you see. I miss this so much! I just couldn't settle down without it up there. So I was just boinging and sproinging everywhere. That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps. But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over. You have my sincere thanks. Daniel's team was rewarded with a protein! You also received a calcium. You also received an iron. <coughs> You're also given 2,000 Pokegan. Incredible. Yeah, that's about 20 bucks. <laughs> oh wow, 2,000? All this money's for us? Of course, of course. That's nothing compared to my pearls value. Farewell. Rich Daniel, we got rich just like that. <laughs> Kids, you know how it is. Of course, uh, we have inflation to consider too. So maybe it's more than uh, I am letting on. Well done, team. Now hand that money over, please. Huh? Most of the money from jobs goes to the guildmaster, you see. And your team's share of the money comes out to this much. Huh? We keep only 200? Welcome to the guild tax. This never goes away. It is best that you disregard it as a plot element. But uh, it frustrates Daniel to no extent because 90% is just absurd. He would rob the guild eventually in a massive departure from the game's plot, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I haven't even written that chapter. It's just something I knew was going to happen. <coughs> well, that's the guild's rule. You simply have to accept it. The guild is a very for-profit organization, I suppose. Everyone, thanks for waiting. Chimiko! I do not have a name for her. At least none that I remember. So, if you want to uh, chime in <laughs> with a name, feel free to post in the comments. I will be happy to hear it. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on! Yeah! Om nom nom. There are much noms. You can see we have three empty plates here, so uh, we're probably going to get three new apprentices in time. Yeah, I'm done eating. Excellent meal. I'm stuffed and now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, I'm off to bed. Good night, gang. Good night. <coughs> Listen, Daniel, wasn't today hectic? So much happened. But I'm relieved that our first job was a success. So it was really upsetting how the Wigglytuff Guild took most of the money. And that's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. But what made me really happy, though, was getting thanked by Evan. I'm getting sleepy. I'm gonna sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Good night, Dan. Chapter 3, 
The Scream. We are going to disregard Chapter 3 for now. <laughs> Thank you for watching, though. We'll catch up next time. Bye-bye for now.